Hey, how you doing? This is my second video of the day, and I thought that uh, I'd go right on and uh, make a video about a subject that I've been wanting to get into, and that's uh, culling, or liquidating if you prefer, the collection. Um, a lot of us who collect a lot of things, I'm sure we've all been through moments where we think, wow, I got a lot of stuff, and uh, how much more stuff can I have, and how much can I add? And Well, I have to say right at the beginning of this, I am a collector for life. I love collecting, I love accumulating stuff, and I'm proud of my collection. And uh, it makes me happy, and it's something that I'm going to continue to do. Um, now, having, having said that, uh, recently the fact that I went through a move helped me to realize that uh, you do sober up a little bit in a lot of ways and when you have to take a lot of stuff and uh, have it moved you start uh, seeing what you have what you don't need what you have too much of etc etc you know where I'm coming from anybody who's been through similar situations now um, this led me to uh, really thinking about this when it came to organizing uh, the records and having them put in alphabetical order um, I'm going to take this camera for a minute over to here. Uh, this is my uh, IKEA Calyx set of shelves. Uh, now, if anybody watched my earliest videos, I was always saying, you know, I'm really having a goal. One day when I get a new apartment, I want to go to IKEA and I want to have a set of the Expedits. They used to call them Expedit. They no longer make the Expedit. There's now the Calyx, and uh, supposedly, from what I hear, they're a little thinner, but uh, they serve the purpose just as well. These things come in all different sizes. I decided to get this one, which is 4x4, four four, basically 16 cubes. And you can see on the bottom, I still have a mess that's got to be eventually cleaned up. But um, uh, I've underestimated my collection. It turned out that my full LP collection did not fit into this cabinet. Surprise, surprise. So over in this closet over here, um, I have this closet right there on the side. I have three milk crates, and those milk crates have uh, Connie Francis, Frank Sinatra, and Christmas records. Anything that's not Sinatra, Connie, or Christmas is here. Now, the reason that I put the uh, ones in the closet that I did was because I figured to myself that I have the most a lot of those to put in to put in this case. So because there's so many of them, I figured they're better having their own isolated place and not take up too much space here. Now, of course, the Beatles are my all-time favorites, and that's my where my main area of interest is. So the first top shelf here, one, two, three, four, and five six and seven the first seven cubes are beetles and solo beetles and then these two here on the third shelf i have two elvis um cubes here so elvis presley's in these two and the beetles and solo beetles go to the first seven and then i kind of like not not really very much in uniform order but i have the a to z of all oh, the other artists start here a to z um, and then the bottom, which you can't see, it's kind of blocked. Um, anyway, that's what I decided to do. Started to think that culling the collection is the way to go. And I'm going to turn this around again as my mirror almost topples down. I have a little mirror here that I use to set up. All right. Um, yeah, well, the idea is about culling the collection. There's no getting around it. As these albums were put into A to Z, I came across a lot of stuff that I had bought at thrift stores and garage sales and Goodwills that um, I bought to have fun with and, you know, to make videos and to show. So there's a lot of stuff that uh, as I was going along and these were getting alphabetized, there were a lot of stuff that I'd put on the side, stuff that I'm going to sell uh, if, I can, if, they're, if I can get any money back for them. I mean, uh, certain things I'm never going to listen to again or even a first time. Um, so uh, that's what I have to do. I also decided that even though uh, this is nothing unique either, this goal to kind of like only keep the record collection relegated to that unit. 
that that's the goal i know other people have tried this and have talked about it um but that's what that's what the idea is from this point on to kind of keep my collection relegated and not exceeding this wall unit now when i say that of course you know being a beatles and solo beatles collector i'm going to continue to buy those items those are my priorities so i'm going to continue to buy beetle stuff and uh, they may take up you know just about most of this as time goes on but uh, as i get records the idea is going to be that i'm going to try to eliminate records you know to try not to let it overflow you know better said than done um that's going to mean that uh there's some people here like uh some albums here i have doubles and triples of you know i can siphon off uh duplicates that way also I, I decided as i went along here that there's some artists that i really only need the greatest hits from and uh just to come to the top of my head like um take tom jones i had like a five or six tom jones albums i decided to pull out all of them and you know get rid of them and just keep a dedicated one album set for tom jones same thing i may do with elton john except for goodbye yellow brick road now, i like elton john but I, I you know i like a lot of the the hits stuff so basically with elton john i'm going to keep probably goodbye yellow brick road the whole album and then i'm probably going to just have the greatest hits one and two or whatever and i'm going to try to do that because it's it's a way it's a way of culling the collection and liquidating the the records and keeping it manageable here because between moves and I've said many times before I know this is not going to be the last residence I'm going to be living in I'm going to be having to move at some point hopefully not for a long time but uh, I don't want to go through all that again um, luckily this particular uh, move wasn't the hardest because it was rather rather close to where I used to live so uh, and I got a lot of help I mean I I had help by my nephew and some friends moving that the heavy stuff i mean uh so that was good but i mean if it had been a out of state move or something really really far away it was going to be tough now i just want to also add that for people who watch my videos i think people are going to see less albums being shown when i show records that i bought i think they're going to be a, a lot less records by other artists that are not the beatles or you know Elvis um, there's still gonna be other albums by them but I decided to uh, reduce that and may and mainly you stick with 45s that's a whole other thing another way I'm doing this culling thing is I'm gonna be uh, using a lot of 45s i have a big 45 collection already and there's a lot of records i know we all have them we have what i call 12 inch singles and when i say 12 inch singles i don't mean like the traditional dance singles or maxi singles i'm talking about lps with like 12 tracks on there and we only like one song or two songs for those albums that i don't really feel the need to keep anymore i mean uh, just an example that pops into my head uh, sinead o'connor i recently bought an album uh, i do not want what i haven't got and i like the song nothing compares to you and uh that particular song is all i i really want the uh, the rest of the album didn't really grab me much and it's not just uh sinead o'connor i mean there's a lot of artists like that i mean uh i bought an album uh by i think it was the angels called uh, from the, the i think the early the 50s or the early 60s i think the 60s called uh my boyfriend's back you know that famous song my boyfriend's back well i love that song but the rest of the album didn't do much for me why keep it you know I, this is where you get interested in the album covers you know i mean i got a lot of pieces that were really nice i mean uh j sometimes i just want to have it for the covers the covers are so nice that they're like works of art and i'll still do a little of that dabble with that keep albums that really have nice cover art but I can't have hundreds you know just for the sake of the cover art so i have to be a little more choosy pick and choose what i'm doing here um yeah, i was saying that if you watch my videos you're going to be seeing that there's going to be uh, like i said you know still a lot of beatles and solo beatles and if people aren't into that that's not the channel for you i guess but there's going to be other stuff too here and there um but uh the good side to that will be that while I won't be buying many non-Beatles albums or, or non-Elvis albums and so on to show, I'll be playing a lot more and hopefully commenting on them because I, it's really kind of messy here. I, I got a turntable. I really should... Here's the turntable. Is that coming out? 
Here's the turntable. Okay, with some with some junk on it. <laughs> Turntable's right next to the computer desk. So you know, I wanted to have a turntable that was low. I, I, I was going to try to get a low table here that I could just reach over and play, which would have been really cool, like a DJ right here. But unfortunately, this particular one that I got here is kind of high up. So anyway, getting off the track, that always happens, just battle on. Um, yeah, so, I mean, that's one good thing that, uh, you know, because it's in this room, and this is the room where I sit at the computer, there's my laptop right there, lid going up, and this is where I type. It's very convenient and very nice to be able to have the turntable right here. In the old place I was at, I had the uh, turntable way in the living room, so I didn't really play a record unless I wanted to go in and just sit down specially to listen to a record here out here while i'm making uh typing on websites and doing stuff on the, the computer i can play the records right here and listen to a lot more i already played a few records i, I never heard before so anyway that, what i'm trying to say is <coughs> excuse me although there's not going to be a lot of new records bought by other artists i'll be playing and commenting on in, hopefully in videos from of records by other artists that i've heard at the same time first time at the first time so it'll kind of balance out that way you know um that'll be a little different anyway that's all i wanted to say i know i went on and on it's hard not to babble um hey you know if anybody has any feelings on this i'm gonna make a video go right ahead uh, what do you what do you do about calling the collection what do you do about liquidating i'm sure this is a subject that we've talked about before in the vinyl community on youtube but um yeah, you know, I, I haven't seen all of them. Uh, let me know what you do, you know. It, it just doesn't make sense anymore. And as you can see behind me, I've got tons of movies. These are all DVDs, TV shows, movies. Yeah, i got a lot of stuff. And even though as a, a hardcore and a happy collector, you know uh, how it goes. I mean, uh, we're happy. We have this happy addiction kind of thing. But at the same time, it's nice if you can have a happy medium, have it manageable. It doesn't expand beyond this room, say. Thanks for watching.